Don't let me start you from the genesis Far from where the finish is No role models, just empty bottles of Guinnesses Roaches in the ashtray Tossing, getting fast cash The ski mask way from those who never passed class Born inside of poverty Probably they stack bread and crackheads Never looked alive to me What's going on, boxing fans? Julian Williams here at The Distance. Got video for you guys. This is a prediction for the upcoming battle between Victor Ortiz and Andre Berto. It's the rematch. It's going to take place on Showtime on February the 11th, next weekend. So, no belts on the line. Just um, just overall, overall, you know, grudge match um, to, you know, one of the best fights of um, 2011 um, from, like, April 16th where Andre Berto was given his first loss. Lost his WBC championship, lost out on a possible fight with Floyd Mayweather. You know, um, overall, Andre Berto, um, Andre Berto kind of had to go back to square one a little bit. You know, he had to kind of take a step back. But then, but you would think that. But then, you know, he he went in and he faced Dijon Zavek for the IBF championship back in September. So Andre Berto has impressive. Um, has impressive power, excuse me, impressive athleticism with um with good power and hand speed. His footwork needs a his footwork needs a hell of a lot of work, and I think he needs to find a way to exert his energy much better. You know he'll he'll gas out in the middle of rounds, but he'll but he'll um but he'll finish very strong. He's a very strong finisher and very fast starter. So in this particular fight, in order to beat Victor Ortiz, he has to use his hand speed um, to his advantage. He has to use the hand speed, you know, as at a specific distance. He can't square up with Ortiz because Ortiz is gonna is just gonna walk and square up with him and look to land short punches on the inside. But um, one thing that Bro has to do in this fight, he has to land first, but also he has to um, beat Ortiz. He definitely has to beat Ortiz to the punch. He has to look to come over the top of Ortiz guard with his right hand because Ortiz does tend to leave his um his left hand low and um but also he has to use his hand speed um you know he has to kind of set, set Ortiz up from specific angles in the ring and um set up little traps in the ring to where you know Ortiz is squaring up and walking into um, specific punches he has pretty much in this fight um you can't really you can't really you're not gonna, nobody's gonna say Andre Burrow's gonna fight a very patient relaxed fight because he doesn't fight a very very patient relaxed fight. He likes to fight at a fast pace. And that and that may have been his um liability the last fight was he was trying to fight at a fast pace. I think he needs to try to fight at a more controlled pace because he because of course he gasses out by round five six or seven. You know, he he'll tend to kind of gas out and his energy will um lower a little bit. So in this particular fight against Ortiz, he's gonna have to kind of set him up, use the hand speed you know, you know, move his, um, you know, definitely, um, he has to pivot. He has to actually learn how to kind of master that pivot now because he doesn't pivot. He's, you know, he's stepping, um, to certain sides and he's throwing his punches. He's, he doesn't necessarily roll shots and counter, you know, he'll, you know, kind of move, you know, move his, um, body a little bit and, um, look to kind of, you know, throw his punches. But, you know, there's some things that he, doesn't do that's not even that fundamental, but he gets away with a lot of what he does because, you know, he has that impressive hand speed and he has pretty good power. But just overall, I think Andre Berto has to set Ortiz up. He has to, you know, look to um, land from specific angles. Um, he's going to have to stay off the ropes. He has to fight Ortiz in the center of the ring. This is a center of the ring fight for Andre Berto. If he can stand at the center of the ring, use his hand speed, and keep Ortiz at bay using his jab, using his right hand, and also use looking to use the uppercut from time to time because you know let's not forget that Andre Burrow has a very good uppercut that he can that he can land very quick and, and no opponent will ever see coming. If he can just keep this at the center of the ring or um, set little traps in the ring to where you know he's you know kind of sidestepping and throwing and um, landing the jab and keeping himself in position offensively, then I think he can very well win this fight and also stay on his feet. He has to stay on his feet, you know, to win this fight. He has to just keep himself in position um, and keep himself in complete control. If he's in position, he's in control. Um, it's that simple, you know. Um, if he's in, like I said, if he's in position, he's in control. And also, you know, he does get a lot of leverage behind a lot of his, a lot of his um, power shots 
when he's in control, when he's when he's standing there and he's playing it in the ring and using and um using the hand speed to his advantage. On the other hand, you have Victor Ortiz. Victor Ortiz has shown a little bit of versatility. He can stand on the outside and box, but also he can stand but um he got but he could also stand there and trade. He also he could always he could also come in and he could pressure. In this particular fight, he has to come in and he has to pressure. Um, just like the last fight, he has to continue to try to get his head on his chest on Umberto's chest and um, look to hurt him. He has to hurt Berto very early in this fight so Berto respects his power. Um, later on, he has to make Berto hesitant. He has to go to Berto's body. If he goes to Berto's body and looks to get inside and um and um try to land short punches on the inside. I think he'll very well control this fight, but he doesn't want, you know, staying at a range with, with Berto. He wants to stand close with him. He has to stand close with him because, if, like I said, if, he, if it's at a distance, then, then Berto's going to control it using his hand speed. If it's close, then Ortiz has the, the opportunity to, um, you, know, land, you know, land his power shots inside, hurt Berto, and possibly even knock him out. Berto does have defensive liabilities, but also, if he if he keeps his punches um short on the inside, then it's gonna ha and Burrow's gonna have a lot of trouble trying to clinch and hold Ortiz, and that's something that Burrow wasn't able to do in the last fight, and probably because Ortiz had a lot more energy, and he seemed to be a lot stronger than Burrow in the fight, and looked a little bit bigger than Burrow, um possibly, um just um if you look at the um, at the body um structures of both of them, um Ortiz was just able to come in and just um. And I'm just um, overpower him. So he probably had a little bit of trouble trying to clinch, clinch Ortiz just because of that. But in this particular fight, I think it's going to be short punches on the inside. Short, short punches inside, I don't think Berto, and Berto's inside defense is not that good, as we saw in the last fight. Short punches on the inside, um, look to go to the body, um, and also look to hurt, look to hurt Berto. Look to try to... Um, but also um, try to catch Berto walking in. Berto doesn't really tuck his chin from time to time. Sometimes he'll just come and he'll walk in with his punches. Um, but also, you know, look to. Um, but also, he can he can even use his footwork because Ortiz, Ortiz' footwork is a lot better than Berto's. Um, Ortiz can um, use the footwork, you know, maneuver around the ring, maneuver around the ring very quickly, you know, kind of um, move the shoulders, you know, and get get his head right on his chest. Look, you know, look to. Um, Look to kind of fight from the outside, beat him to position. You know, things things of that nature, I think, can very well win this fight for Victor Ortiz. So who I think is going to win? Um, personally, this morning I woke up, and, um, and over the last couple of weeks, I've been having mixed feelings about this fight. This morning I woke up, and I was thinking, you know what, I think Andre Berto is going to take this fight. And um, But also, looking at his last fight, he didn't seem to make too many changes. He still squared up. He still squared up with with um Zavak. He still squared up. He still kind of gassed a little bit in the fight. You know, didn't really go, didn't really go that um long. You know, I think it was like six or seven rounds. So we didn't see what Burrow could do later in later in the fight. Um, if he you know if he made an adjustment of, you know, doing something to increase his stamina, or something along the, those along those lines and. So we didn't really see it. We know he worked with Victor Conti, the Balco guy, but you know we just. But he still kind of looked. He he was sharp. He was very sharp, but he still kind of looked like the same Andre Berto. And and he's gonna have to use a lot of energy. Is and he's gonna exert a lot of energy to keep to have to try to keep Victor Ortiz off of him. If Ortiz isn't damaged from his last knockout over Mayweather, of course, I think Ortiz is gonna come in. He's gonna bum rush him. And I think Ortiz is probably going to get a very close decision. This can go either way. I'm going to go with Vic Ortiz by decision. Um, but I, but personally, I think that that um, if Burrow stays on his feet, if Burrow stays on his feet, Burrow will win the fight if he stays on his feet. But defensive liability against a very offensive-minded fighter, which is why I'm going to go with Ortiz. So anyway, peeps, I'm out of here. That was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace. LB the motherfucking game.